Hello, welcome to the Tool Fox Den. I'm Maria the Tool Fox. Today I wanted to talk to you about the eFox S10. This is a new automated stripping device with electric driven motors, 28 to 8 gauge, can be operated via a touch screen, barcode scanner, or with our ClipX Wire Assist software program. Let's check it out. As I just mentioned, it's plug and play using the inclined five inch touch screen. Start with plugging it in and turning it on. The switch is in the back. Using the touch screen, select the wire cross section by using your plus and minus keys. You can change from millimeter squared to AWG by touching on the cross section, then select your desired cross section here and touch apply. Set your correct wire strip length and pull length using the plus minus keys. You will hear the machine adjust itself accordingly. Insert your wire at the insertion point where you see the white light. Specific jobs can be saved through the touch screen. Touch on the star and this screen will appear. Select the job number and enter the strip specifications, then touch on apply. On the bottom here, you see the barcode symbol. This is where you can enter a job number to quickly recall specifications later using a barcode scanner. Once favorites are entered, they can be accessed by touching on the star and then selecting the desired job number. This icon here enables you to quickly switch between full or partial strip. Now it is partial, full, partial. On the top of the machine, you will find an integrated handle for easy transport to a new location. Under the touch screen, you will find the waste bin. This is where the stripped insulations fall. It should be emptied regularly. To open the tray, gently push on the front and it will open. On the back of the machine, you will see two data interface ports. The USB port is for use with a barcode scanner and the RJ45 port is used to connect the device to a network to control it via the ClipX Wire Assist software. The device has LED signal lights at insertion point. White indicates the device is ready for standard use. Green light indicates a job from the wire sys software was received and the unit is ready to process the wire. A red light indicates there is a failure. Specific information on the failure can be found on the screen. From the home screen, there is a menu icon that will bring you to this screen. And from here, you can either return to the home screen find information about the device, or edit settings. Under the settings screen, you are able to make changes such as the language, the unit of measurement from metric to imperial, display and LED brightness, and the length of time until the machine will go to sleep. This is also where you would indicate the type of blade currently inserted in the machine. You can scroll down for additional settings in addition to locking the machine so accidental changes cannot be made. The device comes with a standard V blade, but flat and custom blades are available for different wire insulation types. Once the job specifications are entered, the machine cycle time is under half a second. For more information on the Toolfox product line, including the eFox S10, please visit the resource page phoenixcontact.com forward slash us dash toolbox. Thanks everyone. Take care.